Well, good morning. Welcome to Financial Friday. I hope you're having a great day. It's a beautiful fall day here in the Northwest. This morning, we're gonna talk about one of the uh, topics that would come up in any search you do on the top five questions to ask a financial advisor. And one of those top five questions is, are you a fiduciary? Now, the funny thing is a lot of people don't even know what a fiduciary is. But a fiduciary comes from a Latin word, which means trust or to trust, to build trust. So a fiduciary is somebody who is actually building your trust and is required actually by law to act in your best interest. Now, a lot of people who are financial advisors and who are, by the way, fiduciaries here at Kluberk Investment Management, um, but a lot of people who are financial advisors act in the best interest of the client's money. They understand markets. They understand how to allocate assets. They understand macroeconomics. And uh, they really are very smart and they care deeply for their clients. The interesting thing is some of those same people don't take the time to find out not just what their clients think or if they understand where their assets are allocated, but to understand what they're feeling. I recently had a conversation with a very smart individual. He understands markets, he understands economies, he understands global macro issues, and yet he was still feeling really concerned about his money and what to do with it. Now, in that kind of situation, it's easy for me to suggest to that person, hey, you don't wanna just move to cash because in doing so, you're taking some inflation risk. You know, if you, you put your money in a money market account, it's gonna lose about a percent, percent and a half every year due to inflation. But frankly, you know, that person's feelings weren't concerned about losing a percent or percent and a half to inflation. That person's feelings were about, what happens if I lose 20% or 30% or 40%? And though they were very open to me suggesting different things, they really wanted to know, do you understand what I'm feeling? And not only do you understand what I'm feeling, are you gonna take action based on what I'm feeling? See, too many financial advisors for too long have listened and instructed and educated, but they fail to take action. And frankly, some of that action might be recommending to them that they consider a fixed annuity or an indexed annuity, something where they can protect against loss and also outpace inflation. But some fiduciaries think that's not a good thing to do. They don't want to talk to them about those things, which I don't really understand how you can call yourself a fiduciary if that's really in the best interest of the client and that's really kind of something that would answer some of their feelings and yet we're not willing to do it. So if you're in a situation where your advisor is talking to you about what's going on in the market, instructing you on everything, talking to you about percentages, giving you lots of numbers, lots of explanation, but they're not asking you how you're feeling about where your money is, then maybe you should reconsider working with a fiduciary who is not just talking about all the numerical aspects of your financial future, but it's talking about the emotional aspects of your financial future. I'd love to talk with you. I hope you have a great weekend. If you wanna learn more about top five questions to ask financial advisors, you can visit our website. It's down below. And just click on the link that says top five questions. Have a great weekend. Look forward to talking to you soon.